So I was in Taiwan this summer and had a chance to collab with one of the math teachers, Mr. Lee. And I learned that the high school students there, they need to know the Cauchy Swartz inequality really, really well. But on the contrary, we don't really talk about it here in the United States in the high school level. So today, I would like to show you guys how it works with this question. We have x plus 2y is equal to 4, and we are going to find the maximum of square root of x plus square root of y. Of course, you can just do calculus, but I'll leave that to you. We can check out the video in the description. But here is the Cauchy Swartz inequality that we can use. There are different versions of this though. But notice that here we have two terms, so we will use this version. a squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared. This is going to be greater than or equal to a times c plus b times d. The whole thing squared. And to see why this is true, you can just multiply out everything and then put this to the other side and you will see that completing a square, it will be greater than or equal to zero. I will leave that to you. For now, let's talk about how we can use this. The goal is to figure out a, b, c, d. So let's just go ahead and use parentheses. So I will just have something squared plus something else squared times, we'll do the same thing here. This will be greater than or equal to this times that plus no this times that and the whole thing squared. And we just have to play the game fill in the blank. Well, how though? I usually like to start with this right here. Notice that we have x which is the same as 1 times x. And if we have 1x plus 2y, we know that it's going to be just a constant 4. So that's quite nice. Perhaps we can put this right here. The 1 goes here, times x, yeah? And then we have the 2, maybe let's put it here, times y. And if we put this down, the inside here is just what we have, which we know that will just be 4, and then we can square that. OK, that looks pretty good. Now. Do it backwards. When we have 1x here, this is like a times c. So the a will go here, c will go here. So the 1 will go here, and the c, the x, will go here. Similarly, the 2 will go here, and then the y will go here. Okay, work this out. That will just be 5 times this is x squared plus y squared. Guess what? Divide the five on both sides, we get x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 16 over 5. What we are trying to say is, this thing is greater than or equal to 16 over 5, which it has the minimum of 16 over 5. We just answered it another question because we are trying to figure out the maximum of square root of x plus square root of y. Unfortunately, they were not asking us for the x squared plus y squared minimum value. So this is unfortunately not the correct way to fill in the blanks. So how exactly do we fill in the blanks then? Well, we still want to use x plus 2y is equal to 4. Now, if I put it on the right hand side, it didn't help. So let's try with the left hand side. Maybe just the first big parentheses here. Do I want to just put down x plus 2y like so? No, because that will be a square, right? So no. In order to end up with what we have here, don't worry, let's just put down square roots. How's that? Still works, right? Because this will give us just x and then plus 2y in the first parentheses, and that will reduce to just the number 4, thanks to that. Okay, I put down this right here, that means I will have to fill in square root of x here, likewise this will be right here, square root of 2y. a, b, go here. Now, what? Huh. Remember, we still want to end up with square root of x plus square root of y. We cannot ignore that. So 
we have this right here and you see square root of x something plus square root of 2y something hopefully this part ends up to be just that in that case will be done now how can we fill in the blank then we already have square root of x why don't we just multiply that by 1 that means put down the 1 right here yeah likewise we have square root of 2 times y this time put down 1 over square root of 2 so the 2 and 2 will cancel in the square root and we will end up with square root of y once we put this down we come here and put down 1 over square root of 2 now have a look work that out is just 1 plus 1 half which is just 3 half and we know that has to be greater than or equal to this is just square root of x plus the cancel square root of y square so this is greater than or equal to square root of x plus square root of y squared this is just 6 and I usually like to have the variable part on the left hand side of my inequality so let me write that down as square root of x plus square root of y square it has to be less than or equal to 6 now we have this which is what we want to the second power though don't worry just take the square root on both sides maybe the plus minus for now this implies the inside here after we cancel this out square root of x plus square root of y it's in between of negative square root of 6 and positive square root of 6 but guess what square root of x plus square root of y is always greater than or equal to 0 so we don't have to look at the negative number here this is always greater than or equal to 0 now we have this quantity is always less than or equal to square root of 6 that means the maximum is going to be square root of 6 and what done but you might be wondering for what x and y will help us achieve this right here now we will have to come back to the cauchy swart inequality and talk about the equality the equality will work so i would just say the equality holds if a over c is equal to b over d so that means what a is this and c is that right so square root of x over 1 has to be b which is square root of 2y over that 1 over square root of 2 multiply the top and bottom by square root of 2 then you can see this and that cancel that would be just a 2 so condition 1 square root of x is equal to 2 square root of y condition 2 the given information x plus 2y is equal to 4 here we have a system of equations solve it well, i'll leave that to you on your own you will see that x is equal to 8 over 3 and y should be 2 over 3 so x goes here y goes here and that's how you can get square root of 6 so that's how we can achieve the maximum value so as you can see this right here all we need is just the knowledge of algebra I right? just do algebra for this and um, some hints that I can share with you guys how we know to use the cauchy swart inequality one either to find the minimum or maximum two we have a sum of two products maybe that's a good hint and then power is also a hint it's like the first power and this is the half power and just try it sometimes it might not work right just try it and in fact if you have x plus 2y plus 3z for example right square root of x plus square root of y plus square root of c if you want to use calculus you will have to do lagrange multiplier in calculus 3 but you can also use like the longer version of the cauchy swart inequality to figure that out i can make another video in that regard later on 